everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we're going to do a painting using an ice cube tray. Um, I went back on my Instagram to see what all we've done so far this week, because um, it felt like I had been doing a lot of things I hadn't done before, which turned out was true. Uh, I had never done a dip before, and we did that on um, Wednesday, and then yesterday we did the pour on the owl plaques, which I had never pour on a plaque before. And so I had uh, some ice cube trays that I've been wanting to do a flip with um around the house so i decided we would go ahead and do that i'm going to try to make that the theme this week is doing things i haven't done before hopefully i'll be able to come up with enough <laughs> to um <clears throat> ideas for that for the whole week um if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments of course um but we'll go ahead and get started um there were seven <sighs> cubes on this tray, two rows of seven. So I'm going to just do the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and then black and white alternating. So there'll be a side with the black in the colors mix and a side with the white in the colors mix, and then we'll flip that. So I'll go ahead and get started. This will probably take a few minutes, so I will speed you up through this part of the video. Alright, we are back and we've got the tray poured. Um, so we'll go ahead and flip it. I'm a little nervous about this part, guys, so wish me luck. It appears it all is laying flat. I think I just bumped you, so I apologize. So here we go. One, two, three. Hey, hey. Squishing out now, but the flip works, so <laughs> we're on a roll here. Um, so this is the side with the black, and this is the side with the white. Before I flip, pull it off, I'm going to just add a little bit more to the canvas, just to hopefully help it flow some. Um, there should be, I would assume there's plenty of paint in there, but sometimes getting it to the corners is a challenge, so... We're just going to add a little bit. And we'll kind of have like a yin yang type theme going here. We'll see how all these colors blend. And now I'm messy. <laughs> no, I really bummed you. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh, I'm loving that. Oh, dude, even the the tray is really cool. All right, um, real quick, and another real quick. I'm actually gonna tape these gloves off. I'll just get messy. We're going to torch it real fast. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I found new gloves. I am low on them. They're in my Amazon shopping cart I need to purchase. I wonder if that was a drip. It definitely could have been, but we're not gonna worry about it. <clears throat> it's really awesome. I'm pretty excited about this. And if we get negative space, that's fine too. white base coat definitely helped make it flow. I'm 
I'm like super excited about this. It's looking amazing. We lost a lot of the pink. Some of the black side of the red. Okay, okay, okay. Still very fluid. I think we're gonna stop there. I'll have to touch up the corners because all the corners did not get covered. All the sides didn't even get covered. Um, so I'll touch up the corners real fast. <clears throat> I'll torch it and then we'll come in for the close up. All right, we are back for the close-up. Uh, it looks amazing. I am very happy I decided to do this today. Uh, the only kind of negative is we did lose a lot of the pink. Uh, we got a little bit on the black side and a tiny bit on the white side, kind of over the edge. So we'll start at the bottom um, left. And this will be starting with the pink and the white and the purple and the white. We've got some over here kind of in the middle. And then the blues and some of that blue and green even kind of um, mingled together and brought out some teal colors. And then some of the yellow did too in the green and got us some like light green or neon-y color green. And then the yellows and the orange. And then the red and the white did make some pink up here, some pink shades. So we did still get pink, even though it wasn't with the pink paint. Um, here's some really cool, like, orange cells popping through the red. And then we'll go over to the upper right-hand corner. This is where we'll find the red and the black mixing together. And the orange. That orange is a lot lighter on the camera. It kind of looks sherbet-y orange to you, and it's definitely like a regular stock orange. It's not a stock color. It's one I mixed, but it's not as light as it looks like on your side. And then the yellow with a bunch of black cells popping through there. A little bitty streak of green. Probably because those black cells are just taken over on this side. Uh, blues in the black. So those look really cool. Almost like, a, like an animal print or something. And then the purples in the blacks. And then back down to these awesome little pink section with the blacks. And there's actually white in there too, so. Yeah. But we'll zoom out for our final shot here. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow and do what makes you happy.